Hi, I'm Dr. Bradley Nelson. In this episode of eMotion Code Toolkit, I'm going to share with you some powerful information about your subconscious mind. In my years of research, I have found that getting rid of your emotional baggage can change how your life manifests as far as abundance, as far as love and health. The subconscious computer within you is by far the most powerful part of who you are. You spend your waking hours in your conscious mind, and that's where you take tests and you go to school and you watch TV and you work your job and have your relationships. Meanwhile, your subconscious mind is creating new cells for you every moment is digesting your food, keeping your heart beating, keeping your lungs working. That subconscious part of you knows and remembers everything that you've ever done, every face you've ever seen in a crowd, everything you've ever eaten or tasted or touched or smelled is recorded in that holographic computer of your subconscious mind. It knows why your life may not be working as well as it should. It, your subconscious mind knows what emotional baggage you have and what effects that emotional baggage is having on you. And the only way that we can get to that emotional baggage, find out what it is and release it, is by accessing your subconscious mind. In the earlier episode, I showed you how you can get answers using the elbow test. Now I'd like to share with you another kind of testing that we call the sway test that some people find even easier. To understand how the sway test works, it's helpful to think about plants. A plant will grow towards the light coming in from a window. By the same token, a plant will grow away from a speaker that's playing harsh, grating sounds. Your body will tend to sway forward if you're holding thoughts of truth or positivity or congruency. Your body will tend to sway backward if you're holding thoughts of negativity, falsehood, or incongruency. So, let's do this. First of all, Stand up, drop your hands to your sides, and allow yourself to totally relax. I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see the reaction that my body is undergoing as we do this. First thing I'd like you to do is think about the word war. War is about the most negative thing that happens on the planet, and I'd like you to think about what really goes on on a human level in war. And as you think about that word, and as you think about what really goes on in war, the moment your subconscious mind connects with what your conscious mind is thinking, at that moment, your body will start to sway backward, away from that negative thought of war. Now let's try something positive. I'd like you to think about the word gratitude. Is there somebody in your life that you have gratitude for? Allow your heart to fill with gratitude for that person. Maybe it's a parent, maybe a loved one, whoever it might be. And as you allow your heart to fill with that feeling of gratitude, when your subconscious mind makes a connection with what your conscious mind is thinking, you'll start to sway forward just like that. Now, we can use this method called the sway test to find emotional baggage. Here's how it works. As you're standing there, totally relaxed, close your eyes and make this statement in your mind. I have a trapped emotion that needs to be released. As you hold that thought in your mind, I have a trapped emotion that needs to be released. Your body will start to sway either forward or backward. If your body sways forward, that is your subconscious mind telling you, yes, you do have a trapped emotion that needs to be released. Once your body says, yes, you have a trapped emotion that needs to be released, at that point, you can go to the emotion code chart. Start by figuring out which column this emotion is in. Ask yourself, is this trapped emotion in column A? Focus on that thought for a moment and allow your body to either sway forward or backward. If your body sways forward, then that emotion is in column A. If your body sways backward, the emotion is in column B. Either way, you can next narrow down the rows by asking, is this trapped emotion in one of the odd rows? If your body goes forward on one of the odd rows, you've narrowed it down to 15 emotions out of 60. Now you can ask, is the emotion in row one in column A? If it's not in that one, 
ask if it's in row three in column A or row five in column A, it will be in one of those. Once you narrow it down to a particular cell, you can then ask which emotion it is by naming the emotions one at a time and asking if it's this one or this one or this one and so on. Once you've identified the emotion, you can then ask, do we need to know more about this trapped emotion? In other words, does your subconscious mind need to have you dig a little deeper to find this emotion and bring it to the surface and release it? If you do need to know more, usually the only thing you'll need to know is when it occurred. And what you can do is you can take the age of the person and divide it in half and ask it if, if it occurred before that time or after that time, and you can narrow down the age that quickly. Now, once you've identified the trapped emotion and the body is ready to release it, you can simply pass a magnet, uh, any kind of magnet, or your fingertips uh, over the governing meridian like this. Now the governing meridian starts at the tailbone, travels up the back and over the top of the head. And what we do is we simply put some energy into that meridian like this. It takes three swipes to release a trapped emotion, just like so. One of the beautiful things about this work is that none of us have ever seen a trapped emotion come back. When you release a trapped emotion correctly, it's gone forever. A great analogy for this is if you take a credit card out of your wallet and you look at a credit card and it has the magnetic strip on the back, if you rub that magnetic strip with a magnet, that data is transformed and the information there is gone. And that's a similar process here with the emotion code. You're releasing the emotional energy and it's gone. I'm Dr. Bradley Nelson. Thank you for joining me. In our next episode, we're going to be talking about the heart wall and how you can release it.